Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the OnePlus Nord. So the first uh, thing I want to show you is uh, a nice tool for the fingerprint sensor because if you hold the fingerprint sensor longer, you have a quick panel here to choose uh, some stuff like apps uh, or some stuff for the calendar, some uh, notes and so on. And there, uh, you have to enable that tool first. Uh, let me show you how that works. So just scroll down here, then go here to the settings so then we have to scroll down to the point utilities here it is and the first point is the quick launch so uh, this one uh, the, the first point have to be turned on and uh, at the second point you uh, can set up the shortcuts so um, have here the google assistant and so on the notes and so on and you can add here some shortcuts um, like calendar stuff you know, to have a new entry and so on uh, some uh, camera settings so if you want to have the portrait mode or something like this um, and also you can add some apps here uh, like the chrome browser and so on and so on i've chosen youtube and whatsapp and you can choose more if you want so a nice um, uh, point to have some shortcuts. So the next uh, thing I want to show you is a bit the same because um, you can also uh, make quick gestures on the screen and uh, you are the may immediately in YouTube huh? or um, if I draw an O I immediately add a camera and so on. So a very nice feature as well but also this stuff you have to enable first so let me show you how that works so just scroll down here then go you also to the symbol for the settings and then we will need the point button and gestures here it is button and gestures and here we will need the quick gestures so and uh, here we are so uh, you have to set up this part here so you can choose by your own what you want if you draw in O. Now I've chosen uh, to open the camera but you can of course choose also something else um, by also drawing S here I, have, I will open snapshot and so on or if you draw an M may for music or something like this uh, you are completely free or oh, let's take maps now so now if I'm drawing the M I'm immediately in the maps and uh, without looking for the app and so on so a nice way um, to open my favorite apps very fast yeah and apropos apps the next feature supports also the apps because you can clone apps now, as you know you we have a dual sim phone here and uh, why not having two whatsapp accounts on that phone or two facebook accounts it is possible to do that okay for that you just scroll down here then you go to the settings as usual so then we have to scroll Right down to the point utilities so and here we will need this point parallel apps and then now you have here a list uh, which apps supports that feature and what's very nice uh, you can also clone Instagram because it's not possible with other phones and so on uh, so let's clone here our apps like Facebook and then Instagram messenger ah let's take all Zip. okay now we should have a second whatsapp account and so on let's have a look where they are here they are okay um the second accounts you can always recognize by having this orange field here no? like this is the original messenger and this is um the messenger the, the cloned one the same with whatsapp the original one and the cloned one no? always with the orange stuff at the corner this is the cloned one and in case you want to delete one of these uh, cloned apps so it's no problem just hold the cloned one and go here on uninstall and on ok and the second app will disappear and by the way the first app may in my case your whatsapp will keep the data from the first um, account and uh, yeah nothing will happen with the first account okay let's go to the next point it's the quick cam because you can launch the camera very quickly by double tapping the power button and you immediately add the camera you don't have to look for the camera app and so on so let me show you one more time double tap the power button and you are immediately at the camera and what is very nice also if your phone is made on standby 
No? If you just double tap the, uh, the power button, you are swear in the camera and you don't lose time to miss a great picture. And uh, let's have also a look here um, about the cameras because as you know, you have many cams in that phone and uh, you can work with these cameras as well. So this is the basic cam here, the one in the middle. And if you go here on the big three, you will zoom in automatically you know, without making this one and so on. Of course, you can do it also like this, you know? but um, this is not necessary. You can um, uh, zoom in very fast. And uh, one cam is also a wide angle cam. So if you're very close to an object and um, cannot have all on the picture, you can just go in on the three threes. <laughs> And then you have a much more uh, range uh, for the phone, uh, for the cam zone, for the picture. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so a good opportunities to um, have uh, um, this cam is uh, uh, if you want to make pictures of a group or if you're very close to a, a large object, then you can have it maybe completely on the picture. So this is the main cam. Uh, by the way, the main cam is the most powerful one, yeah? so it has the most megapixels and so on. So if you want to have the best quality, choose always the main cam. So, and then we have a macro mode as well, because if you are very close to an object, you can see that the zoom doesn't work really, but there is the macro cam. If you enable that feature here, now um, the pictures are more clear, as you can see, if you're closer, let me off the macro cam, as you can see, it's a bit, hmm, but if you enable the macro cam, it's much more clear. Um, also a nice feature if you're very close to an object and uh, it's like a magnification a bit. Yeah? And of course you can also make uh, pictures of the screen. So a screenshot for that, you will need the power button for and the volume down button. So if you press these both buttons, you will have a screenshot. Uh, so a picture of the screen after you will have here directly the preview um, uh, to edit the picture maybe, so one more time the power button and the volume down button for the same time and you will have a screenshot. Tap now in the preview if you want to edit uh, some stuff, maybe like if you want to crop a part, maybe if you're on a website or something like this and you just want to have a part of the website, you can crop this part. If you want, you can also choose to go here on the pen to draw something inside. Everything is possible and after you can share directly your edited part or save it to your gallery. So there's a second way to take a screenshot, but by the way, this you have to you have to enable that first. But let me show you what it is. If you swipe three fingers down the screen, you can have a screenshot as well. So very nice. One more time, just swipe huh, uh, three fingers down the screen, and you will have a screenshot as well. But as I said, this feature you have to enable for that. I think you imagine already. Go to the settings. Uh, here's a simple for the settings. So then we need the point. Um, uh, button and gestures here, tap it, and now we will need the quick gestures. So in the first point here is the three finger screenshot. It has to be marked blue to be turned on like in my case. Yeah, and of course you can also make a video of the screen so you can record your actions here. Um, for that we will need the screen recorder. Scroll down, scroll down a second time and we will have here at the shortcuts a second page. And here we will have a screen recorder tool. So tap it. And now we have here the little screen recorder. And if you tap now on the red button here, our screen recording has started and uh, we record your action you're doing uh, for games and so on and so on. And uh, the tool becomes invisible here. You just have to tap on the invisible tool to have it back. Um, to pause maybe the video or to stop the video. Yeah? So let us stop it maybe. Um, and then after you can share it directly, maybe WhatsApp or Messenger and so on. Uh, and what's also very nice, we have here also a simple for the settings and uh, you can change the resolution if you want. Maybe if you want to take a longer video, then it um, is better to um, choose a lower uh, resolution because it will save a lot of memory. Think about the limited storage and so on. And um, yeah, also the refreshing rate um, for the number here of frames and so on. Uh, also important, 60 frames per second is very nice, but 30 uh, frames per second as well. Um, as well. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, and also the audio source is maybe interesting here because uh, um, if you want to use the internal storage, uh, the internal audio, uh, uh, sorry, 
uh, or the microphone audio and so on. Okay, and if you want to uh, stop or if you want to remove this uh, little tool, you just go here on the X and the uh, screen recording tool is removed. Um, has removed. So, and if you want to have it back, just scroll down, scroll down a second time, and you can have it back always here at the shortcuts. So let's come to the next point because the phone have a blue light filter included, um, which one reduce the stress for your eyes if you're watching your smartphones, especially at the night. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and it, it's called night mode here at OnePlus. And if you are tapping it, you see that the color of the screen is changing slowly into a warmer one and so on. And you can set this up, by the way, if you're going here on the uh, symbol for the settings and go here on display. And here we have the night mode. Uh, and here you can change the color temperature and so on because uh, more warm, uh, more warmer uh, temperature um, uh, uh, supports your eyes and so on and reduce the eye strain and so on. So, um, and at the night mode, what's very nice also, um, I would recommend you at the night mode that you um, uh, make the screen a bit darker because uh, it disturbs your eyes also, um, especially if everything surrounds you is dark and the screen is so bright, you know what I mean. Um, so choose a lower brightness and um, yeah, so you can uh, uh, turn on the, the, the night mode by the way also automatically. Um, may um, it recognize uh, by the time the, the, the sunset and the sunrise. So and at the um, sunset it will turn off automatically uh, turn on automatically and at the sunrise it will turn off automatically. So a very nice mode. So I would recommend to um, on it and uh, turn it on automatically. Uh, so it uh, will supports your eyes and uh, may you sleep better after you should really try this. In case you read a lot uh, on your smartphone may like uh, ebooks and so on. So you can add also a nice feature um, Scroll down, scroll down a second time. And on the second page, we have also here a nice blue light filter, the reading mode. Now, if you enable it, it will, it will ask you uh, for the chromatic or the mono effect. I would recommend you the chromatic effect. Um, and then uh, it reduces also the blue light and so on. And it's much more comfortable now to read something. And uh, what is very nice, if you go here to the settings and go to display then, we will have here um, also the reading mode um, and uh, <laughs> the little fly wants to read here as well. Um, so you can add some apps that the reading mode is turning on automatically. May if you have an ebook app or a magazine app and so on, you can add this feature as well and it will protect your eyes. Um, so a very nice feature. But to continue, let me off it because we will not read something now. Yeah, the next uh, feature is about uh, to off the phone automatically uh, because uh, to be honest, we don't need our smartphones if we are sleeping and we can set it up that the phone will turn off automatically at a specific time. So, and that saves energy by the way. Okay, let me show you how that works. So just go here to the settings, then go to the point utilities. And then we will need here this point scheduled power on off. So, and here you can uh, schedule the power on time, but more important, you can schedule here the power off time. If you turn it on, you can choose the time when the phone has to, uh, so should turn off automatically. And by the way, you can turn it on after again, uh, if you want, if you need it, um, don't worry. But it is um, just that you don't forget it and so on, that you will save energy at this moment. And, uh, and your phone will not disturb your sleep and so on. Huh? And uh, yeah, if you want, you can also power on it automatically uh, May at 7 a.m. in the morning if you want here. Now, if you want to set up your own time, just tap here on setup time and choose the time when the phone has to be turned on. Okay, we want to sleep longer, so maybe at 9 in the morning. And yeah, and so on. Uh, so a nice feature to save energy. Think about our planet. Yeah, let's come to the last point I want to show you. It's about uh, Google Lens. So if you're going here on the camera, you have here the little icon. I don't, don't know if you can see that, a very little icon 
for Google Lens. So tap it and um, go your on open camera, okay, go on allow and so on and so on. This is a nice tool to recognize uh, things and so on, uh, but the best feature is to translate some stuff. So if you go here on this symbol, you can translate maybe here uh, the book from German into English and the very great thing is that the, uh, the language detection is auto detected. So, and as you can see now he's translating the German text into the English one. So uh, very, very nice. And uh, you can use this for your studies, maybe in the bibliotheque or uh, at the holidays and so on. A very nice feature to translate stuff. And um, yeah, what's also a part here um, in this feature is a QR code reader. So if you recognize now the QR code, um, he's uh, telling us, uh, thanks for watching phones and more. Yeah, thank you so, so much for watching uh, this video. I hope I could show you something new for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, uh, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up. That would be very, very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in me. Just subscribe me. It would be really a pleasure to see you again. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.